welcome to 26th talk titled unknown identity i hope you have already watched the talk number 4 on spiritual responsibility and after that we have taken a commitment before god to be a brothers keeper for five people holy mother church teaches i quote love of neighbor is inseparable from love of god close quote this is the goal of rmca ministry rebuild my church again if something is worth doing and that too for the lord then let us do it well so let us begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen today i have just two points to bring to your attention for further reflection and prayer number 1 substance more important than public recognition it was albert einstein who developed the theory of relativity which was one of the pillars of modern physics one day during a speaking tour albert einstein's driver who often sat at the back of the hall during his lectures remarked that he could probably give the lecture himself having heard it so many times sure enough at the next stop on the tour einstein and the driver switched places with einstein sitting at the wheel in his driver's uniform the driver delivered a flawless lecture then the driver was asked a very difficult question by a member of the audience he casually replied well the answer to that question is quite simple i bet my driver sitting up at the back there could answer it from there einstein sitting in driver's uniform took over dear friend no matter where we sit in driver's seat or at the back of the hall our worth is the same we are what we are nobody can make our worth less or more it is natural that if someone recognizes our worth we feel happy but let not our happiness depend on such certificate of recognition what we are is god's gift for us and what we become is our gift to god nobody can make that gift big or small by their opinion so why to worry about public opinion so mind the substance and ignore the urge for public approval number 2 identity tag as child of god Albert Einstein's wife often suggested that he dress more professionally when he headed off to work. He would invariably argue, "Why should I? Everyone knows me there." When the time came for Einstein to attend his first major conference, she begged him to dress up a bit. Then Einstein said, "Why should I?" no one knows me there yes it is not the dress you wear or the position you hold that matters but the knowledge that you possess knowledge of god is the highest knowledge the real knowledge of god is god is love and that you are his child i have heard a story about rai bahadur mohan singh Oberoi the founder of Oberoi hotel spread over India Egypt Indonesia UAE Mauritius and Saudi Arabia once he went to a famous city in Europe he chose a very simple humble ordinary hotel for his stay the receptionist of that hotel saw his passport and recognized him with a great surprise he asked him sir I know who you are. Uh are you going to stay in this economy hotel? 
He smiled and replied, My son, I have nothing to prove anything to anybody. The receptionist just admired at his answer. It was his awareness and satisfaction about his own identity and worth that made him answer like that. We live in a world where often people try to pretend what they are not. Please keep a social distance from such people so that their coronavirus may not choke your throat and block your breathing. You can create a beautiful world of your own with your five true friends. There you don't need to pretend anything. Be real with them. There you will experience God's grace and his presence because when people who own up their identity as child of God come together that is really a kingdom of God. In Galatians 3:26 I quote for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus close quote no matter to which group or religion you belong if you have faith in Jesus according to bible you are a child of God let me give a small specification here god created us and therefore from god's perspective we are already his children but from our perspective we need to become children of god that is why one of the 12 apostles of christ john in his gospel 112 said i quote but to all those who did receive him who believed in his name he gave power to become children of god close quote this becoming is a process that process is explained by saint paul in romans 8:14 i quote for all those who are led by the spirit of god are sons of god close quote my talks are like a common general spiritual counseling regular listening to these talks and following the practical tips given in them will certainly be a help for anyone for their spiritual growth after listening to these talks if you feel inspired to do something then it is a divine signal that you are being led by the holy spirit that's why when you send these talks to your five true friends you are fulfilling your commitment of being my brother's keeper god who sees everything in secret will reward you abundantly for that thus let us build a small spiritual community for god so take it easy slow and steady wins the race remember the saying rome is not built in a day now to conclude number 1 renew the commitment to be my brother's keeper every day number 2 live the identity of child of god and never pretend to be anything else number 3 learn to be led by the spirit of god my talks will help you that's all for today every day i'm praying for you my loving dear listeners now i am going to bless you as part of my episcopal ministry you can make the sign of the cross as i pronounce the formula may almighty god bless you to live the identity as child of god now and forever in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen you can send this talk to your five true friends now itself thank you for supporting rmca ministry thanks for avoiding unnecessary publicity <laughs>